Hi, I'm uh, Danny Watson. I'm the afternoon host at News Talk ZB. I do answer the hey you though. Don't look at you or the camera. Uh, look at me. Okay. When it comes to borrowing, you should always borrow from a pessimist. You see, the pessimist doesn't expect to get the money back, so it becomes a gift. He lends you the money, doesn't expect it back because he's a pessimist, so you walk away with it. It's real easy. Be nice if banks were that way. Oh, I think it would be um, not to spend more than you earn, but also to make sure you save for emergencies. No, in, in all seriousness, save. Save as much as you can. I mean, that's, I guess, I never did it, but that was the great advice. Should have followed it. Oh, the worst, the worst money mistake. I think it would have to be lending money to a mate. I think the worst would be spending the money before I actually got it. It's always a pretty difficult situation. You know when you stretch the credit to that point where you've got to borrow a bit to pay for the borrowings? And um, you want to be there for that mate. And what started out at about $500 ended up being about $1,200. But then when you're lending money to friends, probably getting it back is a bit hard sometimes. Did that as a student. Not wise, not wise. When I left high school, probably um, I wish that I had started saving pretty young. Oh, that would obviously be that you can actually use other people's money. Just constantly um, thinking about how much of your pay packet you save and really, um, you know, starting younger. I mean, it's great when you're at the pub, you know, and you've ever noticed uh, there's seven guys having a beer and that seventh guy always leaves just before it's his round? Well, you can do that in life. Yeah, using someone else's money is a good idea, but you've got to grow it and give it back to them. I remember whenever there was a big capital item in the family we had to buy, car, whatever, everybody had input. And we all decided what the priorities were for the family, and then a decision got made. It was, it was quite nice. Not a great way to run a business, but a good way to run a family, because that way you get, you know, consensus. Well, my parents, they weren't the type that would just give you pocket money. You pretty much had to earn it. Uh, well, Dad was good with money. He'd actually give you some money. Mum was working several jobs, so I think I always knew um, the importance of it. And this was in the day of the pound. He'd give you a pound and he'd hold on to it. I would literally get jobs where I'd get a certain amount of money for those jobs. And you'd try and take it off him and he'd still hold on to it. The worst one I think was probably 10 cents for a, a whole wheelbarrow of sawdust at the time. I thought it was a pretty rough deal. And that was the best advice, actually hold on to your money. And that is nothing like um, as a young um, young person having to wheel barrows of sawdust at 10 cents to learn the value of money. So yeah, we did talk about it. Mum, she just ran the household really well. In fact, if Bill English wants some advice, talk to my mum. She can run a budget.